So the dots of life always connect. And lastly, a quick question, sir. What is your opinion on the future of space startups in India? There's a huge rise in this sector. I think uh, the emerging India is one of the things. Look at here today when we want to list out, these are all the areas India has developed and it is almost on par with the developed country. Nobody can tell uh, Indian space is not in that list. Indian space also is providing that list. Having taken that podium, now the world of space is moving forward. One is exploration, another one is uh, trying to connect anything to everything to everything, everyone to everyone, everyone to everything. The whole is going to the whole web by the way, in the, in the, in the term of satellites. So when that's happening, uh, today you look at here, the whole world is looking at Elon Musk. And we need not, we may not be having only Elon Musk, but completely we can make Elon Musk. Definitely we can do that opportunity sitting there. I feel that startups have, because when the, the re recent policy of space policies, whatever has come, and uh, bringing in the uh, private players into that, and encouraging the startups, and bringing a new Klesegara Patinam launch pad is going to give a good, good launch pad for the startups. Okay, I, I feel uh, it's a lot more going to happen. And another thing is in the whole process, uh, space exploration and uh, uh, things over, now we're talking about in a big way, space commerce. So that will definitely will enable the whole thing to happen. That means an ecosystem is evolving. That will enable uh, this uh, startups to go into even the unicorn level. And uh, uh, that's definitely, definitely possible. And uh, I feel uh, Elon Musk, Florida as an alternative is called for. And after COVID, people are not looking at China. The place is going to be India. In India, it's going to be Kulasayar Patinam, as far as I'm concerned.